Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do this look using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I am sure that you've heard the hype about this palette and it's the first time that I've used it. I've had it laying around in my room for a couple weeks now and I decided to pick up and play with it today. I am on my way to church, so I don't really talk that much in this video just because I'm in a rush. It's super early right now. It's like 7 in the morning. Yeah, so I have to get going now so I can be on time. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I really enjoy this look. It's pretty and simple, soft, delicate. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. I haven't um, tried this palette yet. It's literally brand spanking new. And I've had it sitting here for a couple weeks now. And I was like, you know what? Let me try this palette. So uh, this is what the palette looks like if you guys haven't seen it yet, which I'm sure you have. And then when you open it up, these are the beautiful colors. I love all the colors. I love like these teals. These like burnt orange red colors, these shimmery like bronzy gold colors. There's like all of these transition shades. So I'm going to go ahead and use that palette. I'm going to start with my eyes first um, just so that I don't get any fallout on my lid. So what I'm going to do is just prime my lid using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Soft Canel uh, Light 2.75. So I'm just going to take some of this and with a flat shader brush, I'm just going to apply some all over my lid. So for my transition seed, I'm going to be going into the color Silk Beam, which is this soft brown here. And this is a Luxie 205 brush. It's a tapered blending brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and just put this color all over my crease just to do a nice transition. I'm going to go into this color here. It's called Butter. Excuse like the pile of water in the corner of my room. Um, my church is having an event for Thanksgiving and I'm trying to stock up on water because that's going to be what I take and we're planning on feeding a couple hundred people. So um, my goal is to have at least 100 water bottles. I have like 64 so far. So I'm getting there. I feel like I've been so MIA lately. I've definitely been focusing more on my relationship with God and really trying to like, you know, just get closer to him and be more intimate with him. And so that's why I've been a little to myself, you know, doing my thing, working on myself. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. If you're wondering where I've been, I'm not like leaving YouTube or anything. I actually really, really enjoy doing videos. It's something that like I've always watched and considered, but I'm always like, I don't know, that's kind of weird, but like, you know, I'm all for it now. All for it. Real cheese. Um, next, I'm going to go into this color right here. It's called Pooter to give my eyes, you know, more of like a gradient effect. I've been wanting this palette, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to pay for shipping because Morphe shipping is, we're playing games. Um, what do I want to do as my lid color? I don't know. I don't see like an all over the lid color that I like here. I mean, they do have, there's beautiful colors, but they're shimmery. And I didn't want to do a shimmer. Just because I know it's going to transfer. I'm going to take this color here. It's called MFEO. MFEO. Uh, that's going to be this like soft pink color and... I'm going to try to run that all over the lid and see how that looks. I just don't want to do a shimmery look today. 
I'm going to use this color right here. This is Mocha. And I'm going to run that on the outer V of my eye just to give my eye some definition. Just because I feel like it looks like I just have one color all over. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my face. I'm going to be priming my face with this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I love silicone primers, like that silicone feel. For a foundation, of course, I'm using the MAC Studio Flix Fluid in the shade NC20. To blend my foundation out, I'm just going to be using a damp beauty blender. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Sand. And I'm just going to use this on the places that I want to conceal and or highlight. Dab some dots everywhere. And bridge on my nose and tip. And just draw a tree or whatever you would like. I'm going to be going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to be using the two light shades, so Lyric and Levitation, and I'm going to use that with this It Cosmetics powder brush and set my concealer. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be going into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade light bronzer okay so and now for blush I'm gonna be going into my Mac blush baby blush Okay, now to finish up my eyes, I'm going to be going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and use most of the shades that I use. So I'm going to kind of stay in this little quad area and I'm going to blend those shadows out on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to apply highlight and I'm going to be going into the Ofer Cosmetics Rodeo Drive and that is this beautiful gold. So now I'm going to do eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now I'm going to be doing mascara with the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And... I almost forgot my inner corner highlights. I'm going to go into Rodeo Drive and highlight my inner corners with that gold. I think I'm all done. Oh, I need lipstick. Duh. Now I'm going to set my face and I'm going to actually use the Cover FX setting spray that I got for my BoxyCharm.
Okay guys, that completes this look. I really like how this look turned out. It's very basic. <laughs> I do this look every single day. But I do like how the colors like tie together. Overall, I would say that this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette is a thumbs up. It's definitely a staple, I feel like, in any makeup artist's collection. Even if you're not a makeup artist, you just have every color that you need in this palette. So I definitely think that it is a good palette. Um, I have to play around with it a little bit more because it was my first time using it. But I think it was a pretty good palette. The colors blended well. I look pretty. I like it. So yeah, I really enjoyed that palette. And I will definitely be using the other colors. I want to try like a teal look. I don't think I've ever done like a teal eye look. So maybe I'll try that soon. So give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below if you have any questions or maybe just to talk about this palette if you have it, if you want it, pros and cons. Just leave those comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can go ahead and be a part of the family. And if you want to turn those notification bell on, it's going to be a little bell on the bottom of this screen next to that subscribe button. Click on that bell so that every time I post a video or upload one, you are the first to know. Okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.